So first and foremost, welcome to Reading Football Club. I'm sure you're pleased to have the deal done to have your future settled. Yeah, definitely. Um, and the good thing is there's only a few days till the start of the season, so uh, you can get cracking straight away. You certainly can. And when did you kind of learn about Reading's interest? When do you when were you aware that they were looking to bring you here? Um, at the beginning of the summer. Uh, yeah, there was had a couple of a couple of clubs sort of inquire and as soon as I, I knew of Reading's interest it, it poked me poked my ears up and uh, I was interested. Yeah, as you say, you know, he's, he kinda of has taken till till this stage, but you you have joined before the season begins, which does give you a, a little bit of time to meet your teammates and uh, and push for a you know, place in the in the very first match day squad of the year. Yeah, that's the aim. That's the aim. Obviously the boys have done a lot of hard work over the uh, the pre season and they know the way the manager wants to play and I've got to go and pick that up straight away and and look to be involved Friday. Mm. What what kind of influenced your decision to, to join then? You mentioned that you know you, you had a, a bit of interest uh, from other clubs too. So did you chance to, to speak to the manager? What did he say if you did? If you did? Yeah, I spoke to the manager in, in the off season and uh, he was keen to have me on board and and everything he said sort of mirrored my sort of desires as well. He was he was looking for the club to sort of get back on track and and, and push towards. Uh, the top half of the table and, and it's the championship you never know what could happen and I've got that burning desire to to get back and, and prove myself at the at the very top. Mm. A, a few of the players who've joined us this, this summer have mirrored what you said there really that the, the managers certainly had the, the right words and as a player I'm sure that's important. Maybe go into a little bit more detail then what are the, what are the kind of things that he, he would say to you or the kind of things that he put, put on your radar? He was saying that he wants the boys to play with a bit more intensity he said he came in last year and things had maybe got a little bit stale, so he wants to sort of transform the team. And, and last year was about survival, and, and this year is about putting his stamp on it and and a lot of energy at the the top end of the pitch and being being a solid base and building from that. And it sort of resonates my my feelings as a as a footballer how how the game should be played. And in terms of your own sort of fitness over the course of pre-season, presumably you're uh, feeling fighting fit. You were away in Austria, as we were, I suppose, but you were with Brighton. So how, how are you kind of feeling fitness-wise? Yeah, feel good. Feel good. Um, had a tough week in Austria a few weeks back and been training since. And yeah, looking forward to to putting on the shirt and then and getting some get some game time mm. and of course the championships are a league you know well and you certainly know how to be successful a couple of promotions in your belt with West Ham in 2012 I believe and, and a couple of years back with with Brighton so uh, that's the kind of experience that can I suppose be invaluable to, to bring to us yeah I mean you you hear a lot of the time it's the the hardest division in the world and in terms of getting promoted and get out, getting out of but I think every club will will go into this season with aspirations of, of giving themselves giving themselves the chance mm. at the top and a lot of teams have proved in previous years that anyone can anyone can do it there is there's a few surprises along the way and it's a relentless league and you, you have to be at the at the peak of your powers every game and momentum can start rolling uh, in in either direction and we're hoping it's uh, for a positive reason. Mm. And of course, a lot of things can contribute to success. And I know the one thing that the managers try to do with his recruitment is to bring in kind of natural leaders, if you like. I mean, players like Andy Year, Dom, Dave Myler, John O'Shea, all captain to clubs, countries, and so on. And I believe you were captain at Bristol City for a while too. And that kind of what were the is that kind of a natural role that you would play? You'd think. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a shy character. Um, I'm more of a. Sort of get the get the lads together and sort of positive thinking kind of guy. So it's um it's going to be key to me for me to sort of have good good relationships with my teammates and uh, I find that if you get on off the pitch you get on on the pitch and, and things tend to go a bit smoother. And of course you're going to be building those relationships in the next sort of days and weeks really. As far as I know you haven't had any overlap with any of our current squad, but um, I'm sure you've got a little a few views of them having played against them. You know, in terms of what they can, the characters that we've got here, but also the, the the ability, which is probably a factor that helped you want to join as well. Yeah, definitely. When you you look around the squad, it, it's full of quality, and it's uh, it's um, no coincidence that uh, playoff finalists a couple of years back and the recruits since then have. have definitely added quality to the squad and I'm hoping I can do that as well and uh, we can achieve good things together. Mm. Uh, and then just touching really quickly on your on your actual playing style then because a lot of our supporters will certainly have a you know they'll have an idea of your playing style from when we've seen you play 
and they'll look at your goals to games ratio and be impressed by that I'm sure but but maybe give us a broader picture what else do you kind of contribute to uh, to a football match yeah goals to game probably over the last few seasons hasn't been as I'd liked um, growing up and sort of at MK and Bristol City I was I was probably a bit more prolific but I've had to adapt play a, a slightly different role but um, I want to be uh, be back in the box and, and getting on the end of things I like to bring a lot of energy energy to that top half of the pitch and sort of run sort of run defenders ragged and not let them switch off and know that if they do I'll be there to pounce I think a lot of supporters like uh, they enjoy that to see that in a player and it's one who brings energy and desire and, and that kind of will to win and, and works hard for it yeah I think fans want to see uh, want to see energy but they also want to see quality as well and there's no point running around like a, a headless chicken um, I'm hoping I can use a bit of experience to sort of outsmart outsmart defences as well and know when the time is right and hopefully get others around me going as well mm. and, and lastly you know it all begins on Friday night uh, against Derby on television all of the kind of little things that kind of coincide it makes it a really exciting start to the season really against you know Frank Lampard in his first in his first management position and uh, with all the, the eyes of the world on us yeah I mean every first game of the season is um, is exciting but this one's particularly exciting with uh, with everyone talking about the opposition but um, they've got to come here and, and by all accounts the boys are feeling good and, and looking good and um, going to go into the game extremely confident and I'm sure you're going to be as you say proving your worth over the next few days and trying to be as involved as, as possible ideally starting but whether that's coming off the bench or whatever it is just to, to make sure you're uh, within it and proving your worth over the next few days yeah I mean I've got I've got to go in and uh, sort of prove to my teammates and the manager that I'm worthy of a spot in the squad um, no one no one deserves to anything by right I mean you've got to earn it and uh I'd ex- expect that if I was better training better and performing better than someone else that I'd be given the chance and vice versa against me I know that I've got to sort of outperform everyone in the in the position but also help uh, help others along the way welcome to the club very best of luck as well thank you